friends, welcome back to Ness's Nook. So tonight I am going to be making a meal with some homemade chicken gravy. Well, it's just gonna be like a chicken breast shredded with a chicken breast that I put in the Instapot. And then we, you make the water into the gravy and then easy peasy, just throw everything together, put over some mashed potatoes, serve with a vegetable if you want a vegetable, and dinner is made. So I had already pre-made this video but I didn't have any sound, so I had to pre-make it. So there was room in the jar. This is a double batch. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a third batch so you can actually see. And I'll just have to find more reasons to use chicken gravy, right? Okay, that sounds good to me. So I'll bring you down here and show you what I'm gonna do, and we'll get this gravy started here. So, I have the bowl out here. I have one cup of flour, all right? Now this right here, is the directions and I will also have those down below too all right so what it's going to be is a tablespoon of chicken bouillon now I'm going to do a heaping teaspoon I don't use salt in this because this has already got salt enough in that all right so then it's asking for a um, teaspoon of onion powder but I'm gonna put a little bit more than that and that's one thing about these when you make these meals yourself like this this is something you can easily make to what you and your family like not how it comes out of a package I'm gonna do the same thing with the, the um, uh, garlic I mean not do it as much of the pepper because one time I just put like the tablespoon not the teaspoon that was a mess um, it is going to be a teaspoon of poultry seasoning and it's going to be a I just did that again with the pepper you see that I used the one tablespoon not the half so it'll be mixed all up in that other one so hopefully it won't be that bad try not to do that yourself see what happens when you talk and everything and the parsley so what's going to happen is you know, go ahead and stir this as much as you can now what i like to do is every time before i use this because it sets in the jar and i just i like to shake up like this the brown gravy the homemade taco seasoning i make i make up and everything like that um the the, the gravy that um not the gravy but the soup mix that i make i do the same thing all right so try to mix this up as good as possible and then i'm gonna try not to make a big mess but i am left-handed but i don't do everything left-handed so i'm gonna try to make this up here so it's you can see it going in now obviously like i said you're going to shake this up before each use go ahead and poke that down there a little bit while i have this in here now quite a bit of this would not quite a bit a lot of this will be used tonight and you will mix two tablespoons of the mix to one cup of water but then what i usually just do is i will always shake this up and what i just do is i mark either the top or the jar you know that this is the chicken because the the, the beef looks about the same but obviously it's going to taste different and how much you use per you know one cup serving so that comes together very 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 fast i mean very fast if it was on film it'd be even less one thing i like about this is you can control the salt content tent. you could control if you like garlic you don't like garlic you don't like onions or whatever it is you can control that where like if it's in a package you cannot control that so i like that for that asset aspect because to me when you can do things yourself and then just have it there i just think i just think it's just a lot better now this will last approximately at least six months i never have mine six months to even say i have it six months so definitely you know while you're gonna not wait like a year or whatever this is actually shelf stable you do not need to put this in the refrigerator or in the freezer which is a big plus because if anything like me all that stuff is your um 
fr freezer and refrigerator is at a premium. So you don't want to try to do that if you don't have to. And like I said, this is like pennies on the dollar. I mean, absolutely pennies on the dollar. I would probably say in this quart thing, because you're figuring two tablespoons, which is really not that much. You know, when you're talking tablespoons, I mean, that's not very much. You probably have at least, I'd probably say 15 minimum servings at, at a one cup serving of this. Now, granted, um, I'm trying to think if I remember right, the packages, because I, I make my own beef, but I can't, I don't have turkey bullion, so I can't make that. Um, but I believe in that it's a two cup, so you would double this automatically. But that's like, um, even Walmart is like 50 something cents per package. And to me, when you make this and you make it fresh, I think it automatically just tastes a lot better, period. So, you know, you don't have the chemicals, you don't have all that going in here. You can make it to how much you want. Even if you only want to make up just a serving for that particular meal, you know, you'd have to do the math. I'm not too good at all that, but you can do that if that's you. And then definitely, you know, you know, have this on, on hand. Um, now that the, you know, the, the holiday seasons are coming up, a lot of people are having more meals, they're eating more at home because, you know, their kids' sports and stuff are winding down, so that makes it nice. So, if you've ever made this before off my old video, because I have made a video of this before, but I've had new subscribers since, they may not know how to make this, but I, like I said, this is this, the, um, the brown gravy and the actual, like, soup mix to add, like, chicken or mushroom. I use that and well of course the taco seasoning probably more than anything so let me know in the comments down below if this is something you use or have used or would want to use and if you do have any suggestions this is part of that little series that I want to make with shelf stable things um, I have to make up some more of the brown gravy because I am completely out of that and we can't have that <laughs> you know because I use that brown gravy a lot but this makes it really nice so I will show you um, in a video tonight how this looks and I mean like I said the taste is always spot on so that should work too. So look for that other video of the chicken in the Instapot and uh, I'll see you later and thank you very much and you have a very blessed day.